Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 29 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to graph unions and intersections of sets that are defined using set builder notation. So I've defined three sets here, and they're all defined using set builder notation. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to graph each of these sets on their own number line. So set A is all the elements that are less than the value 3. So we'll just say that the value 3 is right about here. And all the values less than 3 are going to be shaded in here. And we'll put a little arrow at the end to show that it keeps on going. And then remember we put our half circle here for the less than sign, which basically means that the number 3 is not included in our set. So it's just everything less than the value 3. So set B is all of the numbers greater than or equal to negative 2. So negative 2 is right about there. And the values that are greater than negative 2, I'll go ahead and shade in. And because we have a greater than or equal to sign, we need to make this a square bracket here. And so the square bracket basically means that it can include the negative 2, which is the equal part of it, the greater than or equal to, which means it can include the negative 2. So that is set B graphed on a number line. And so finally, let's graph set C. And set C starts at the value 4. We'll just put a 4 here. And we're going to use the square bracket because it's greater than or equal to, which means it can include the 4. And then we just shade all the values greater than 4. So now that we've went ahead and represented each of these sets on a number line here, let's start taking intersections and unions of these sets. So if we wanted to do A intersect B, we could go ahead and graph that on a number line. And we're basically wanting to represent all the elements that A and B have in common. So B doesn't have any elements up until negative 2. And negative 2 is included in A, so we can go ahead and use that as our starting point. So we put the bracket here at negative 2. And then we just shade in all the values that are in both A and B. And that stops when we get up to the value 3. And we do our little half circle once again to show that it's not including 3, but it goes all the way up as close as we can to the value 3. And then from then on, A does not include any more elements. So we stop it right there because the elements on A intersect B have to be all of the elements included in both A and B. So this is A intersect B graphed on a number line here. So let's go ahead and do, let's do A union C. So now with a union, we don't really care if the elements exist in both of them at the same time. We simply just write down all of the elements in A, and then we just write down all of the elements in C. So with a union, we simply just look at the A, and we're just going to start at the number 3 here. And we just draw A's little graph right here. And it goes off that direction. And then C, we just go ahead and just start that at the 4. And we just shade that in all the way down the number line. And it keeps on going. So this represents A union C. It's all of the elements in A and all of the elements in C. So what if we did something like A intersect C? Well, A intersect C, we're looking for the intersection. So we're basically looking at all the elements that A and C have in common. And A has all the numbers from negative infinity all the way up to, but not including 3. And none of those numbers are in C. And C starts at the number 4 and goes all the way up to positive infinity and none of those numbers are included in A. So since the numbers in C are not included in A, and the numbers in A are not included in set C, then A intersect C is simply the empty set, or the null set. So we can just define that by a zero with a slash through it. So this was an introductory example of how to graph unions and intersections that are defined using set builder notation. So thanks for watching. You guys stay tuned for some more math tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. And have a great day. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.